and welcome folks. Welcome to the third video of our Ludum Dare game marath blah, marathon. Today we are going to play a week's passing, a game that I have chosen because it looked and so well it looked interesting and the title was also appealing. We need to input our name, which is of course Mr. Man. Let us begin. This game yeah, simulates the a week in the life of a, a student and it yeah, I think this concept sounds interesting. So let's see what this game offers. Wake up. Mm. Am I supposed to press something? Yeah, you need to click. Um. Clonk. Eat breakfast. Um. Hmm. A very abstract view. Um. Very simple graphics, um, but effective, I, I think. Okay, let us, yeah. Um, let us find the kitchen. And this game has reflection. Um, I wonder whether there, um, this character reflects in the PC also. Um, it's hard to tell. Hmm. I don't think so, actually. Hmm. Yeah, let's uh, head downstairs. Oh, no, okay, there's only... There's no downstairs. There's just a stair. I mean, there's just one story. Okay, um... You can interact with left click, right click, and middle click. So just, yeah, left click, okay. Brush your teeth. Um, you know what, I don't think so. I'm actually going to explore the rest of this building. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there seems to be only one thing you can interact with <laughs> at any given time. Which is, which is a bit of a shame, but... Hmm. You can't make your bed, unfortunately. Um, hmm. The backpack doesn't actually show up. Quite a foggy day today. Um, okay, this does not look that great. I think that should have stuck with a more abstract look. Um, and there's an invisible wall that prevents me from going to the left. And <laughs> I cannot even walk onto the street. Um, Never a fan of invisible walls in video games. Ah, uh, yeah. I think it. I mean, well, of course, any video game has boundaries, but um, there's no need to have invisible boundaries, in my opinion. I'm just give the. Yeah, I don't think there's. A real need for invisible walls in video games. I mean, I'd rather prefer to walk off 
yeah, the end of the game world and just fall into a void, but... Um, no, I don't wait for the bus. I actually want to explore the rest of this area. Okay, I think the game won't let me, actually. Can I jump over this fence? Graham. Oh, hello there. Have a, having a good morning? Um, hmm. Not really. Ah, that's... Missing the apostrophe. That's a shame. At least the birds are out today. To me, that's usually make, makes... That usually makes things a bit more enjoyable. Hmm, okay. How do you board the bus? Click on the door. Hmm. Learn. How do you do that? Mr. Teacher. Hello everybody. I trust you all did your assignments last night. The class blah, collectively misspelled, collectively groans. Mr. Teacher. Listen. I feel no guilt for you. You've had an entire week to work on it. A student on your on your right whispers to their friend. Random student? Yeah, a whole week with no instruction on how to do it. The class starts to murmur. Well, assignment done or not, we still have work to get done. Can anybody answer this question? What does causation not imply? Um... That doesn't make any sense. Well, causation implies correlation, so causation does not not imply correlation. So we have to go with this one. Anybody? Can anybody answer? The answer is correlation. Causation does not imply correlation. I think the game just wants to make fun of, or the game author wants to make fun of his teacher. Let's move on then. Mr. Teacher? Everybody is going to need a laptop for this next activity. Which is watching a movie. No. Which is... Something something. Okay. Um, yeah, this doesn't look very good. I mean... I mean, either stay... Abstract or... Give it some nice textures. I mean, but... Yeah, but I, I mean, this was done over the course of a weekend, so. And we can run, actually. So I shouldn't be so critical. But I do like the look of this interior. Um, yeah, and this. Again, this abstract. This abstract view actually works quite nicely. In my opinion. Of course, it's my opinion. Ooh. Whose opinions, whose opinion should it be but mine? Um, where do I do my homework? Ah. Um, marker for, I can't, it's barely, the, barely readable. Play PC games. Um, this would have been a good opportunity for a mini game, probably. Take a shower. Hmm. I mean, yeah. One has to, of course, remind oneself that. This has been, this game has been, has been created on a single weekend, so. Um. Not having a terrible time, but it's also not great, I mean. I, I, yeah. 
I mean, I do get that this should um, should yeah exemplify. Ah, oh yeah, we need our backpack. This should exemplify or symbolize the monotony of um, <coughs> the daily daily routine. But still, I think this game should have could have used some more interactivity or at least the possibility to do things out of order. Yay! Hello, not Graham. Mark, hey, what's up? I haven't seen you in ages. When was the last time you had a class? We had a class together. It had, I ha it had to have been like two years ago. We've come a long way, haven't we? Um, I don't know. Maybe. It's like the past three years have just flown by. I guess that's just what time does. Again, missing the epistrophe there. Um, no. Actually, I wanted to, yeah, I p wanted to pick note, but then I chose yes. Cool, so am I. Most of the time it seems to come just as I get there, here. But not today for some reason. I wonder what the bus's route is. Learn. How do you learn? Welcome back, everyone. Can all the students who didn't turn in last week's assignment please turn it in today? Mr. Teacher looks up at the class, expecting multiple students to stand up. Really? Well, I guess it's going in as a 40% for those who don't have it. The class remains relatively silent. Mr. Teacher, let's move on and review last night's homework. Why is it, why is it last night's homework? It should be yesterday's homework. I mean, dot, dot, dot. That means take out last night's homework. Students shuffle through their backpacks. All right, if you remember from last time, we determined that Mr. Teacher gets cut off by the classroom's, by the, the classroom's phone. How, how does the classroom have a phone? Okay, anyway, Mr. Teacher gets cut off by the classroom's phone ringing. Sorry, give me a moment, I should get this. Mr. Teacher picks up the phone. Hello? Yes, this is Mr. Teacher's class. Mr. Man? Yeah, they are here. They are here? Wait. Anyway, why do you... Oh. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay. I'll tell them now. Mr. Teacher looks up at you with a sharp, worried look. Mr. Man? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Died in a car crash this morning. The world seems to halt for a moment. Don't cry. My God. I'm so sorry. You catch your classmates staring at you. I know that you two were, were close. They look alien to you. Don't react. Christ, I don't know what to say. Your stomach twists in previously unknown ways. Don't. Mr. Teacher, you should probably head down to the main office. You are feeling lightheaded. Mm. I wonder whether this game is autobiographical or whether this is just, yeah, made up. Mark. Mr. Man, how are you doing? I had the funniest day today. There was this guy with some waffles in the cafe. Whoa, you don't look so good. Are you okay? Look, I understand if you don't want to talk. Maybe you should hurry home. Christ, you look so pale. What happened? Uh, we can't tell him. Hmm.
do your homework. Don't cry. Take a shower. Hmm. Go to sleep. Wake up. Hmm. Forget about yesterday. Eat breakfast. Brush your teeth. Wrap your backpack. I wonder whether this game was um, was developed by an, an Asian person because uh, sorry, an Asian Asian person um, because the video game character, the, the protagonist, always takes the shower in the evening, and I know that um, apparently Chinese people always shower in the evening instead of showering in the morning as most western people do mm. walk to the bus stop ignore him Hmm. Mark? Mr. Man? Are you alright? You? I'm perfectly fine. Are you sure? You ignore him. Look, if you're going through something, you continue to ignore him. I know we only recently started talking to each other, but... Cut it out. I'm fine. You certainly don't sound like it. Seriously, if you need a shoulder to lean on, I'm fine. Okay. Learn. Mr. Teacher. Happy Wednesday, everyone, and welcome back to the class. Welcome back to class. Mr. Teacher glances at you for a second and swallows. Today, we are going to have a practice day, so we can really hammer down what we've learned. At the start of class, you should have grabbed a worksheet from the front desk. Please find a partner to work on it with. A student to your, to your right looks your way. Jeff, hey, I'll be your partner if you need me. You start to grab your stuff when a student to your left pipes up. Lynn, no, I'll be their partner. Why is it always plural? I'll be their partner. You're way too blunt to understand what they are, they are going through. Um, am I right, Mr. Man? Well, he probably doesn't know what we are going through, but I'm going with no here. You, listen, I'm fine. I don't need anyone to cuddle me. To cuddle me. On the inside, though, you really want to say no. I just, I just said no. Um, you, I'm just going to work by myself as long as that fits fine with Mr. Teacher. Look up towards him and catch him watching you and the two students. You? Is it? Um. Yes, that's yes, that's fine. Whatever makes you the most comfortable. You can tell that Mr. Teacher is worried for you. 
you don't care. You're fine. Hmm. A person that's in denial. You'll wake up soon. Ah. Uh. PC games. Take a shower. And go to sleep. Yeah. Wake up. I also like the, <clears throat> sorry, I like the waking up animation. Um, simple but effect effective. What I don't like so much is the choice of the font um, and how it's being presented. Um, So, um, the art style isn't, it's not, it's not very, I mean, it's not really inco incoherent, but also not really coherent. Um, some objects have a more realistic look and others are more stylized, like the backpack is really stylized. And also, the, the sky texture is uh, realistic looking, whereas every, everything else is, yeah, just very stylized. Also, the um, the grass, yeah. Anyway, it's a bit of a mixture. Okay, Sarah, you're you're Mr. Man, right? Indeed, we are. I heard about what happened. Are you doing all right? Um, I'm fine. Well, okay. If you say so. Hmm. Learn. Welcome to class once more, everyone. I hope everybody finished up the practice problems yesterday, because today we are going to be having a pop quiz. Mr. Teacher is Mr. Teacher is trying to be enthusiastic. It's not working. You mumble under your breath. Of course, of course, we are having a pop quiz today. It's not like he can come up with anything better to do. Mr. Teacher, what was that? Mr. Teacher is eyeing you now. Did you say something, Mr. Man? Yes. Well, out with it then. Ah, I clicked. Ah, yeah, I clicked and then the dialogue disappeared. So I couldn't read it. The entire class is looking at you. It becomes silent. You don't care. I'll have you know I... His words become a blur. You don't care about what he's saying until someone until something catches your attention. Just because someone <laughs> died 
doesn't mean you get to go prancing ar around being an ass to anybody you like. The class falls silent. Something streams down your face. What did you... What did you know about... <laughs> I'm... I knew... <laughs> like the back of my hand. Christ, I didn't... You didn't... What, huh? You didn't think? You sure as hell didn't think when you declared... They are deaf to the entire... Why is it always the plural? Um, they're deaf to the entire class. And now everybody is fucking pestering me about it. Mr. Man, I... Can you even imagine what that's like? Can you... You pause. You realize that you are standing up. Except that we are not standing up, but anyway. Everybody is staring at you now. The class is silent. Mr. Man, you wipe your face with your hand. You get up and leave. They don't know what they are talking about. They don't understand. Nobody can. Blame them. Play PC games. Okay, I think I know where this is going. Um, try to sleep. I would guess that this game is at least, maybe not, I mean, maybe the events are not really um, part of the autobiography of the developer, but maybe something similar. I mean, maybe he did experience, experience something similar. Um, I would assume that it's at least partially an autobiographic game. Um, it's harder to wake up now. Um, yeah. It's getting harder and harder to wake up. I mean, it takes more and more clicks. That, that's what I'm saying. You're going to be you're going to be late. Leave for school. Um, okay, without our backpack. Hmm. Walk to the bus stop. Sarah. Oh, hey, Mr. Man. I heard about what happened in your stats class yesterday. It doesn't matter. You stare through her. She seems, she seems bothered by this. Not that you care. Look, just, just promise me this. Don't do anything brash, okay? Okay. You don't answer her. Again, we are all here if you need a shoulder shoulder to lean on. You mumble. Did you even hear what I said in stats? She shifts awkwardly. Awkwardly misspelled. You don't care. You just want to get out of this nightmare. Is he going to throw himself under the bus? Or is he going to... Um go on a killing spree. The bus is not coming. Um, or is it? Again, I, I clicked too fast. Um, I mean, I clicked 
before the I started the clicking process before the text screen popped up and then I already clicked even though I didn't want and clicked the text away and so I didn't know what the teacher just said. Which is not important, so let's move on. Mr. Teacher seems different today. Oh well. Mr. Teacher, please take out your laptops and look at the assignments that I've posted online. Students around the room shuffled through their backpacks. Mr. Teacher, it should be in your email. You notice that Mr. Teacher is avoiding eye contact with you. You also notice that he is wearing the same clothes as yesterday. Not only that, but his hair is a mess. You must have had a rough night. You don't care. Why would you? <laughs> is dead. You wish you could change that. No, I said in your email. The assignment is in your email. You wish that <laughs> was still here. You wish that you wish that you were in the car instead of him. You briefly misspelled. Consider doing today's assignment. You decide against it. It's pointless. It's all pointless. Why bother? Why bother? Go to sleep. Um. Wake up. Um, hmm. it didn't say that we are late to class, it just said, also it didn't say that we leave for school, it just that we leave. Walk to the bus stop. A stranger, hey buddy, could you give me some space? What does it even mean? You, hmm, 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 hmm. I mean, dot, dot, dot. Why are you staring at me like that? Piss off. Please. Who says please after saying piss off? Hmm. Maybe a stranger. A strange stranger. Did you even hear me? If you can't tell, I'm not in the greatest mood. Ha. Don't even try me. Yeah? What's got you so down? Did your car get keyed? Did your dog run away? Try the death of a loved one. Okay, no no person in the world would say such a sentence. The stranger falls silent, then looks away. I guess we're in the same boat then. I don't think that you're in the same boat. <laughs> if someone died, on the one hand and on the other hand, the other person just lost, got their car scratched. I guess we're in the same boat then. Your heart skips a beat. You lost someone too? Oh, he did actually. Okay, my mistake, sorry. Yeah. What was their name? Their name? <laughs> Your heart skips another beat. <laughs> what? Did you know them? You laugh for the first time in a week. That's a bit awkward. Know them? I was like their best friend. Bull. Shit. We both laugh. What? How are they? How are they laughing? I mean, it doesn't make any sense. Okay. 
I'm serious. We were, we were really close. I guess it's just a small world. Must be. What about you? I was an older friend of Blair's. Yeah, and what's this, what is it with, this, with the pronouns in this game? Um, I haven't seen them in ages. And now I never will. You both fall silent. I thought that nobody else could feel the same way that I do. What is your skull nine... What? Is your skull nine inches thick? Shut up, shut up. I know. Stupid. I didn't realize that before. I guess I didn't either, now that you mention now that you mention it. I guess it's all part of the process, huh? The stranger smiles. I guess so. Both fall silent. Look, I've gotta thank you. I've been stuck in a rut in a, in a rut for the past week and talking has really helped clear things up. Thank me? Thank you. I guess we both just needed someone to talk to. Ah, that but must be your boss. I imagine you've got to get to school. Yeah, that would be the one. Wait. The stranger takes out a piece of paper and writes down his email. Here. If you want to talk again, just email me. I pocket the paper. Thank you. Wave goodbye to the stranger. Bet better get on the bus, you don't want to be late. And that was it. Game created by someone by the name of Bobo Net, apparently. Um, um, I don't really regret playing this. I, I wouldn't replay it. Um, I maybe wouldn't recommend it to anybody else. Um, but it is... Yeah, it was certainly interesting just to experience, just to experience somebody's creation. Um, yeah, that was a week's passing. Um, yeah, and that's all apparently I have to say about this game. Um, it was, it was not bad. It was not certainly not great. Um, some of the lines were a bit awkward. Um, yeah, the ending was a bit... Yeah, the, the writing was a bit a bit awkward and... Maybe maybe with a bit more polish this would, would have been actually a good game. Um, yeah, it isn't bad, but... Okay, but yeah, I didn't regret playing this, so I think I will stop talking now. Um, this will not get any better if I continue to talk. So, again, that was a week's passing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so, until next time, folks, until then. How do I actually get out of this game? Ah. There's no mouse cursor. Um, do we press ESC? Okay, the programmer forgot <laughs> to implement um, a way to exit the game. <laughs>